All right, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to episode 105 of the Porter Pickup Stonecast. Excited to have you all join us for this. Uh, it's been a fantastic couple weeks here in the shop. A lot of uh, summer prep, we like to call it. We like to uh, really gear up for what happens in the summer. Sometimes our business goes really crazy up and down in the summer. Sometimes it doesn't, and you just never know. So you're you're planting seeds. You're working on new new opportunities, new projects. I've got a really exciting couple bits of news that uh, can't quite share yet, but uh, these these things are coming down the pipe. So those who follow us on social media, listen to our podcast or YouTube channel, wherever you find our content, we're going to be releasing a lot of stuff. And as you may hear, I'm fighting a little bit of allergy stuff today as the, uh, the spring transitions into summer. Um, it's a bit of a vocal challenge uh, <laughs> every year. So here we are. We're going to still keep uh, trudging on and, and recording the tone cast. So I want to mention our pickup chooser as we start off uh, going solo today. Uh, Marco is out um, as of this recording. He'll be back uh, on the next episode, I'm sure. Um, so I'm just going to go solo. And I want to talk about something that's really interesting that kind of ties into this time of year. It's sort of a, a reminder of... Um, taking steps and taking jumps in business and and so I figured it was a good time for for me to kind of talk solo about that <clears throat> and so that's kind of where that's kind of where we're going today so we have our pickup chooser we've got to mention that every show it's important to us it's one of our most important parts of our website is this helpful tool go to our website porterpickups.com you will see the pickup chooser tab on the on the top if you're on the home page you'll see a big pickup chooser feature that's a, a place you can go fill out the information on your guitar tell us what you like and don't like about the pickups tell us what gear you're playing what sounds you're going for and then we'll actually recommend something from our lineup this is a really helpful tool it's free to use no obligations with the answers that we give you we will not uh, send you multiple emails and texts and calls we will just simply uh, talk to you about pickups and I think that's important I think a lot of people are willing to give us their phone numbers or their emails and, and we want to be sensitive with that. We don't want to uh, make it feel like spamming. Of course, we would love to sell you product, but ultimately we want to find the right solution for you and for your needs. So we had some great conversations with a few people. Uh, a couple in particular this week were really fun that that I had and it, it was just a great time to, to talk gear. Um, definitely was gassing over a few of their guitars that they had and I think that was like the fun part of uh, of, of kind of this this process with the pickup chooser is really really uh, looking and saying man I like this guitar that you've got and uh, one person asked us about a particular guitar that we we've had a few of these guitars in and out of the shop and so it was very cool to to kind of reminisce about ones that we've had and then ones that um, they had and kind of the similarities and how we could help them uh, based on our knowledge of that so that was that was pretty cool so check out the pickup chooser we've got um, a couple other things we we are basically sold out of gatekeeper pickups again i'm hoping to develop um actually just just re you know restart the uh the h90 version of a of a gatekeeper pickup so we're hoping to uh have that sometime this summer so for those looking for a humbucker size p90 in an affordable uh you know should be about 99 bucks for the set on those uh, really excited about that that's coming hopefully I want to say June, maybe early July. It's kind of in the works right now. We're, we're trying to figure out timing-wise on that. Um, another quick shout-out to our newest dealer, um, Six String Supplies in the UK. They are the newest Porter dealer, and they've got a ton of stuff in stock. If you're if you're in the UK, if you're international, they've got a lot of pickups in stock. They they also make pre-wired kits. They make um, all sorts of great upgrades for your guitar. They sell capacitors and they sell pots and things like that. So you can kind of overhaul your whole guitar. And if you're in the UK or if in, in Europe, um, they'd be a great place to buy from because it's there and you can avoid some of the uh, the extra taxes and, and uh, shipping, things like that. That would be a little easier access. So, so Six String Supplies, just want to give them a shout out as we continue into our main topic here. And this is one that... Uh, Again, I mentioned in, the, in kind of the first part of the show, this is a very interesting topic for me. This time of year um, in May into June is always this um, what if summer kind of
kind of things. I started out way before Porter Pickups teaching guitar, and and summer was always the hey, we're gonna stop teaching, or we're gonna stop taking lessons for the summer. We're gonna stop until the fall, and and it was always this over and over again. Every year was like students built up all throughout the year and then they all dropped in the summer or half of them dropped in the summer. So it kind of got used to summers coming and it being a little bit weird, a little bit hard. But every year it kind of just grinded on me a little bit more as we started a family, as we started uh, exploring this business um, way back when. And and it was like, man, summers are, you know, I love summers because as a kid, right, you go out and play or you, you have a break from school. And as a business owner, I started hating summers. I started looking at summers as as an evil thing, right? Oh no, summer's coming. I've got to, uh, you know, it's almost like winter, right? You've got to store up something and, and you never know what summer is going to hit. So I'm going to talk specifically about five years ago, uh, the collective storm of things that happened um, and, and tied into a little bit of business related stuff where uh, this, this week um, I really thought a lot about this whole you know, trying stuff, you know, trying, if, if we didn't try anything, if we didn't go for it, our business would not exist at this point. If we didn't take risk, if we didn't do that, anyone that owns a business or anyone wants to own a business or wants to, to take a hobby and make it into a business, this is something you all face. It's a, it's a fear that you've got to step beyond and you got to, you've got to try it because there's always that what if, what if this works? What if, uh, I never try it and then I don't, I can't live with myself because I never tried this thing that is a passion or something that I wanted to do. So that's kind of related to what we're talking about today with um, this jump. So about um, about five years ago, kind of into the the fall of 2016 into like the, the winter early part of 2017, we were starting to develop some guitars and, and I've tried guitar building over the years, kind of dabbled in it and created some some cool models and tried to do it a bit as a business several different times. And so 2017 was our big, like, all right, we're going to get a shop that has room for both the pickups and guitar business. And we're going to do both. And we're going to launch this thing and we're going to go crazy. And it's going to be awesome. Our pickup business had been steadily growing and, and becoming kind of the beast that it is. And so we were thinking, man, let's add guitars. Let's kind of branch into this new arm and, and I had tried different variations of guitars over the years. Some of them have had been good and some of them are not good. Um, some things, you know, went wrong multiple times and some things went right. Just kind of like every, every product, every business has that, uh, that part to deal with. And so I, I wanted to take this jump. So we found the shop that we're currently in right now and it was quite a bit jump. I think we tripled in size of our operation. Our old shop was, um, it was actually a doctor's office or a, I think they did dentures or something. It was a very, it's very segmented. There was a bunch of little rooms with sinks everywhere. And this is kind of how we operated Porter in the early days, which was, which was kind of a mess. No one could talk to each other. And, and we had to, you know, to the shipping bench was actually the break room of the old place. And, and it was, a, it was a mess. Anyone that ever went to the old shop, um, it was, it was pretty funny when we did like the shop tours or people wanted to see the operation because it was, it was very strange. Uh, we still kind of laugh at, at it uh, now because I think we had, um, and I think we had seven to eight sinks in our shop, which was kind of extreme for the size that we had. So I moved into this shop. There was a bunch of bays for uh, woodworking and all that. We started collecting tools. We started buying stuff. We were developing the the Croesus model, which was our first kind of pickguard swapping model that we released in, in the 2017. So all that leading up to this thing where or I finally kind of got the the courage or the excitement again to do guitars and I had a great team behind me helping build, build these guitars, design them, getting the process down. And we had the process done. We had a bunch of marketing things going. We had a big marketing thing connected to our website, which is a virtual guitar designer. Um, and, and this is where the cracks started happening. We started seeing uh, this virtual builder, the company kind of folded or got bought out and we, we didn't actually get the rest of our working virtual builders. So this was a, a six to $8,000 loss essentially starting out uh, while we moved. And so there was the moving expenses, there was the loss, the sales dropped in that month. And, and so 
it was kind of this man, man I'm trying this but but there seems to be so much stacked against it and there seems to be so many curveballs where where sometimes there's one or two and there was like 16 at once and it got to be really crazy so I think as I look back I, I'm, I'm looking at this like man I, I don't you know I don't regret trying I don't consider it a failure because I know that my goal was to release good good instruments and we did that and we may build again we may not um, that's not been decided uh, officially uh, but we haven't uh, we haven't been standing on guitars for quite a while and that's something that that is totally fine it sits it sits okay with me but today I just want to speak to those who who have ideas who want to try stuff I think I think the failure part of it or maybe the the, the disappointments or the, the what-ifs or the fears like sometimes people are not not willing to even try and that was me right I, I was like man I don't know if I should do this I don't know if I you know if I want to try this again but the goals ended up being very simple I wanted to just make a good sound of guitar I wanted to be proud of the process and proud of the instrument and a lot of people really enjoyed the guitars that we built over the last you know four or five years and and that to me was the the part that I had to do. Some people were like, why are you making guitars? Why are you doing this? And, and the simple reason was I had to. I had to, I had to chase this. I kind of like scratched the itch or continued to pursue uh, the things that I enjoy and, and chase these things. And some things you're going to try and some things you're going to fail. And, and for those who, who are in that spot where, man, I want to do this. I want to do this photography business. I want to do this, uh, you know, gear business. I think that that you really got to try you got to go for it you got to get started um, it's overwhelming when you start because you have how many different things that you're trying to piece together and man how do I even get to selling 10 of these a month I have no clue and I think that that has been something that um, that I just wanted to encourage encourage people today it's, it was on my mind this morning it was on my mind this week because we were signing lease papers five years ago into the shop and now this shop kind of looks different in the flow and what what happens here in the shop and the things that are being built and sent out is different than it was back then in the early years of this shop and and it's just amazing to see the kind of the transformation and some of it is is a lot of uh, maybe stubbornness and willing to keep going and keep pushing and, and Porter has grown every year that we've been in the shop but we have had some very challenging moments to to stretch ourselves thin to try to to try to grow the business and try to look for good opportunities and chase these things that we think are going to going to help us and and so as i as i kind of talk to people that ask me about how did you get started you know how did you get to the point where this was full time for you how did you get employees and and i look back and i i see this point of 5 years ago as like a pivotal point in our business and we we had to try something and we took a huge swing. Um, it was, it was definitely like a lot of personal risk, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, a lot of just like hopefully this works kind of thing. Um, but, but I think that's the point is that we need people that are willing to, to be creative and willing to fail. And I'm, and I, you know, there's many of think times that I, I think, man, I wish I would have done this and this and this differently. And sometimes you have to learn by just trying and by doing. And so I think that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. Just turn the microphone on. This is unscripted. This is me popping in the shop first thing in the morning and, and just starting the camera and just going. So I, I think that this is something that I want to be more transparent about. I want to, I want to share like this, this journey of our business and, and not coming across as I, I know everything because I certainly don't. I'm still learning. I'm still growing. We have a lot of amazing people here that are helping us. Um, but this has been kind of this, um, you know, all of us have like life events, right? Where you're like, oh man, that was this, this many years ago, I had this major life event or, or whatever. And it kind of just re-stirs everything up in your brain. And so that's kind of what's happened to me over the last uh, week or so. Thinking about this, uh, man, we took some serious risk. We took some massive financial risks. We took some, you know, reputation risks. We took all sorts of things. We put some stuff out there and some people loved it. Some people thought it was the dumbest, dumbest design guitars ever. Um, some people uh, really thought we were making a bad decision. Some people thought it was a fantastic decision. There was a lot of um, opinions from all sorts of sides of the equation, and um, it ended up being, 
just one of those things of like this is the decision that we're making and and you know we're we're fine with what we want to get out of this decision and we did actually reach the goal of of making great stuff and and just uh, like a lot of people really um, really loved what we did so I, I don't regret doing it I think it's a fantastic uh, uh, experience um, it's an expensive experience regardless of of how uh, things have turned out but that's okay um, I'm more excited about the future of Porter and where we're going um, but I think that I think that I learned a lot by continuing to try and, and continuing to take that step and, and we're in the spot now five years later where we're taking some jumps in some different areas and so there's a little bit of like okay here we go we're taking another big swing and and I want to be able to run a business that way that I'm that I'm willing to try and I'm willing to to push put myself out there and try new things and knowing that stuff's you know stuff never going to go perfect there's going to be uh, bad situations there's going to be difficult people to deal with in the process there's going to be a lot of rewards and a lot of accomplishment from finishing tasks and from trying things and getting getting yourself out there so for those who are in that spot um, I'd love to chat with you about that um, I'd love to just offer you the encouragement here uh, for those who are listening uh, go for it uh, don't risk your complete financial future maybe um, some people are willing to do that some maybe don't have that much to risk like in my case we just we kind of bootstrapped this whole thing from the beginning didn't borrow any money just try to get to the next step and kind of build this and build this and build this and now um, you know now it's a full operation so it's uh, it's been very interesting a very a very cool process I'm very fortunate to uh, to have good people around me my wife's been very supportive and, and other family and encouragement uh, to do this thing that I love and and so that's where we're at today we're in this uh, kind of launch point of now we're going forward into a lot of uh, really exciting new territories and and continuing to provide these great guitar tools for all you who are listening so I do appreciate you jumping on here with me and listening to this podcast again a lot of really um, you know more unscripted and kind of raw stuff I want to do with this podcast I don't want to have a strict formula I don't want to have, um, you know, it has to be this type of thing every single time. I want to be able to use this platform and use this podcast to to talk about all sorts of different stuff, to, to let you guys into the world. Um, I, I'm very transparent about what we do here. I'm very, very proud of this team and, and the products that we create. And, and some of that is just, just kind of walking through some of the daily and the yearly things that come up. And... I want to be able to turn the microphone on and just say, hey, this is a situation that is interesting or, hey, these are good things that are coming and and kind of just share that journey uh, for those who may be interested. This might be really boring for some of you. Um, man, I'm not, I just want to hear guitar content and that's totally fine. Um, we will have plenty of guitar content. So if, if this interests you in terms of our podcast, you're welcome to jump around to the episodes that are a little bit more guitar focused, but there will be some kind of business talk, some life talk, that kind of stuff um, intermixed in this because this is who we are and, and we are not robots. We are people and we have uh, people with real needs and real um, real feelings and real abilities and creativity here at the shop and we want to be able to feature those people and we want to be able to talk about um, all the things that we do here and kind of uh, why we do them and, and and the reason that we kind of exist as a company. So we'll be talking a lot about that. Excited for the summer. More podcast shows are coming up. We're going to try to get back to a little bit more of the weekly thing. I know we say that all the time and, and life comes and curveballs come. So we're going to keep some content flowing. I've got a couple new videos that I will be shooting over the next week or so. One is, is a uh, PRS SE Silver Sky. We're going to mod it with our hybrid plus pickups. So kind of keep that on the radar watch our YouTube channel. If you're already watching this on YouTube, thanks for watching. Uh, keep keep an eye on some of our future videos that are coming. Thank you for subscribing, those on YouTube. Uh, for those who listen on iTunes or Podbean or anywhere else you find this, thank you as well. Uh, we thank you guys for, for your support. It's uh, been, a, been a really good year for us to, to kind of continue this thing going and, and keep keep energized and keep moving forward. So that was a, a quick backstory on this uh, interesting time in Porter history of this sort of date range into late May into June. Um, if you don't take a risk, 
you never know what would happen. We'll catch you guys next time on the Tonecast.